Hello everyone, welcome to another online training. In this training we're going to cover Canvas and Turnitin. The first thing that you'll need to do is access the training material, then log in to your Canvas course. This training will cover teacher assignment and setup for a Canvas Turnitin assignment, student view and submission, feedback studio, and Canvas gradebook. Feel free to reference the training materials as needed. The first thing that we'll need to do is create and set up the Turnitin assignment. First, you're going to have to add the new assignment. Select the plus icon, then select the assignment type. Create a new assignment, title the assignment, and select add item. The next thing I'll need to do is select the item to begin to set it up. Select the item, select Edit. The best practice is for teachers to provide clear and thorough instructions for students. Once you include the instructions, then fill out the necessary fields as needed. It is very important to select the submission type. In our training material, we provide a step-by-step -step instruction on what to select and how to set it up for the Turnitin assignment. External tool, you're going to find Turnitin and select it. Back in Canvas, select External tool, search and find Turnitin, select it, and then select the red button Select. Feel free to select other options as needed, such as Sync to PowerSchool. Please note that this option requires prior setup. The assignment due dates can be set up in Canvas Assignment or these can also be set up in the Turnitin Assignment. When you're ready, select Save. You have successfully set up a Turnitin Assignment. Now that you have set up a Turnitin assignment in Canvas, you can go into the Turnitin assignment settings. Notice the various tabs and options within the window. You have Assignment Inbox, Help Desk, and Settings. This icon might change depending on the size of your screen. If you notice, I'm going to zoom in and you're going to see this change into what we called a burger icon. Select it to expand the options. If you have a bigger screen or you zoom out, you can see that you also have the option here of settings and you have the gear icon. It is the same option except that it provides a different icon. In the settings option, I can add the max points. I can also select the start date, due date and feedback release date. I can provide additional instructions for students aside from the ones I have provided in the Canvas Instruction Rich Content Editor option. You can enable peer mark review if needed and you can expand for additional options. Feel free to explore these and other options as needed. When you're ready to save, select Submit. This assignment has been successfully set up. All I have to do now is publish it for the students. I'm going to return home and I'm going to select modules. Here is my assignment turn it in. It is for file upload and is 30 points. I'm going to select my publish icon and now this assignment is ready for students to access. Take it, take it, take it, take it out. Lesson 2.5 Submit a Turnitin assignment in Canvas. If this is the first time that you are using Turnitin in Canvas, you will need to agree to the terms and conditions. Select the Agree option in the pop up window. When you're ready to submit the assignment, select the option upload submission. As you can see, you can upload the submission as a PDF file 
or text file, you can also enter text or select cloud submission. Read the instructions provided to you by your teacher. In this example, my teacher wants me to upload a PDF file. So that's exactly what I'm going to do in this Turnitin assignment. I do have my example essay that I have completed as a student. I'm going to download this as a PDF file. File, download as PDF. I'm going to save my file and it has downloaded to my downloads folder. Please note that depending on the device that you're using, the file might have downloaded and saved in a different location. If you're using a Chromebook, the file has been saved in the downloads folder. If you are using a PC computer, the file has also downloaded into the download folder of the computer. When you return to your Canvas assignment, Include a submission title, browse your computer and find the file that you would like to submit in Turnitin. In this example, I am using my Turnitin example assignment. Select Upload and Review. You have the option to preview a submission, view the thumbnail of the submission, and then submit to Turnitin. You will see a confirmation for a successful submission in Turnitin. Once you submit the file in Turnitin, you will be able to see the plagiarism check. In this example, is 98% similar to online sources. And you can also see the summary of when you submitted the assignment. If you need to resubmit the assignment, contact your teacher to enable the option. <laughs> Take it, take it, take it, take it out. Lesson 2.6. Submit a Canvas assignment via Turnitin using Google Cloud Submission Drive. Be sure to be logged in to your atcvuhsd.org account. In this example, my teacher has provided instructions for me to submit my assignment through Google Drive. I have already completed my essay and this is my example. Going back to my Canvas assignment, select Upload Submission. I'm going to select Cloud Submission from Google Drive. I'm going to select my account. If this is the first time that you're using the Cloud Submission, you will need to select the account at CVUHSD, allow access to your Google Drive account, and then find your file. This is my example, this is my essay, and I'm going to select OK. You can preview the submission, you can cancel the submission, or you can submit to turn it in. Verify that this is the assignment that you're turning in, and then select Submit to turn it in. Once the file has been successfully submitted, you will see the check mark. Please notify your teacher if you have any trouble or issues submitting your Turnitin assignment. <laughs> Feel free to reference the training material and find out more about how to submit assignments with Turnitin as file upload and also as Google Cloud Drive submission. There are two videos that the students can watch. Once the student submits assignments, the teacher will be able to grade them in Canvas. Return to Canvas. And now you can see there is a submission via Turnitin. You can open the submission from the To-Do Task list or select to grade it from SpeedGrader or from the assignment. Select the Similarity Report to grade inside Turnitin Feedback Studio. I'm going to select SpeedGrader and you can see the submission has been included as a PDF. I can select the similarity score and this opens up Turnitin Feedback Studio. By selecting the option to view the originality report, the teacher will be able to access the Feedback Studio tools and rubrics. 
In Feedback Studio, the teacher can view and display various elements of grading options using layers, such as Show Instructor Feedback Layer, Show Similarity Layer, and then Show the Grammar Tools Layer. You can expand the layers by clicking on the topmost option, Layers. You can see that at this point, grading is selected. You can also change it to Similarity and E-Rater. Teachers can use Trinidad Feedback Studio to grade the student's submissions using the rubrics. The scorecard is interactive. Click the blue circle and drag it to the correct score. If you are done using the rubric, but you want to check similarity report, you can check on the match overview. You can see that 98% of this submission has an online source. You can also break down all the sources. Select the next layer to display that. If there are sources that you would like to exclude, select the source and then select exclude scores. Select the source and exclude the source. You can also filter and exclude resources, such as exclude quotes and exclude bibliography. Feel free to explore these and other options as needed. Feel free to explore the Grammar Tools layer. I'm going to return to my rubric and then apply the score. Once you apply the score in Feedback Studio, it will automatically transfer and recalculate the points to your max points of the assignment. I'm going to apply the grade. Once I apply the grade, I'm going to close this and then return to my assignment. In Canvas, you can open up the grades or you can access SpeedGrader. As you can see, the grade has been transferred over to my Canvas gradebook. I'm going to access my gradebook through SpeedGrader. And now you can see that my Canvas assignment submission has been graded within Canvas. To delete a student's submission, return to the Canvas assignment, find the student name, and then select the option to delete. You will need to confirm delete the submission for the student. Once you delete the submission, the student will be able to resubmit the assignment as needed.